What is going on, fellow fans of Clash of Clans? It is your host, Galadon, and yes, it's time for another sneak peek. Now, I realize a lot of you took it for granted that maybe these sneak peeks were going to be exciting every single day. Some of you felt like maybe this update was off to a rocky start, that maybe even there was some stonewalling on the part of Supercell. I don't know. I don't think they're stone cold. I think that these sneak peek videos are going to get bolder and bolder as we move along. So, okay, done with the puns, I promise. I'm gonna be Mr. Nice Guy from now on, and we're going to talk about the brand new Siege Machine coming to Clash of Clans, the Stone Slammer. So here it is at level one, and remember, this is the developer build, so the numbers may indeed change before they go live in the game, but we can see it is a heavy-duty flying mountain that targets defensive buildings by flattening them with giant boulders and causes earthquakes, and is of course immune to spell effects. So a couple of things right off the bat about the Stone Slammer as we take a look at level two of the Stone Slammer and then eventually we'll move on to level three. You can see the additional hit points and damage per second. That is something that players have been asking for, a siege machine that does not target the town hall. Whoever thought we'd hear that? Everybody forever wanted a building that would target the town hall. Now you're asking for one that doesn't? Well, here you go. Your wish is Supercell's command. They have granted you the Stone Slammer. It is going to hunt down defenses. Now, right away, as we start this friendly attack right here, showing off some of the Stone Slammer's abilities, check out the ability to change the Warden from air to ground in the middle of an attack. That is right. That is absolutely fantastic. No more, oh crap, I left the Warden on ground or air. You can switch it back and forth, and in comes the Stone Slammer. So, will this really change things up? Absolutely, I think it will. This is a huge new tool for Clash attackers of all sorts. Town Halls, of course, 10, 11, and 12. To be able to put in something that is going to precision target a defense or area of defenses, this really makes entries much, much easier, much more precise. I've seen a lot of war attackers try to use a battle blimp or a wall wrecker for something other than the town hall. You kind of angle it, you have to know where it's going to path. Now you know it's going to path towards the nearest defense, and that opens up a whole new array of strategies for attackers. I'm excited about it. I do feel like it is going to make attacking maybe a little bit easier because now you can get in there and especially when you're going after air defenses, maybe you're going after the Eagle Artillery or even an Inferno or two, you can see the Stone Slammer is going to get you deeper and deeper into the base. And that is exactly what we all want. Peter, I'm trying to record here. All right, okay, so this attack is going to wrap up with a three star. A big important factor is if you were looking at those numbers early on, now they may change, but did you notice the Stone Slammer has by far more hit points than any other Siege Machine, about double that of the Battle Blimp, and even more than a Wall Wrecker. So it really is going to be able to get in there and get after those defenses that you want. You know, is it too strong? I feel like Supercell is trying to avoid it becoming a Battle Blimp, meaning it will be underused. I feel like right now, between it targeting defenses and it having so many hit points, it might just be too strong, but we'll see. There's always balances in the works in the future. We can hope that it won't be, but I'm just saying. All right, so here's an entry with an Electron start. Not that much different, I would say, this example isn't looking at it than a Battle Blimp, simply because the Battle Blimp probably would have gotten about that far. So again, I'm counting on you guys to come up with the strategies, and I know that I can count on players to come up with something that Supercell wasn't even intending to happen. You know I've talked about this before, and I do think that players will find some ingenious ways to use the Stone Slammer, and in fact, right now, I've got a couple of replays from Town Hall 10. This was a recent developer-friendly war, and although these attackers have changed most of their names, I suspect they are some pretty well-known and pretty famous clan war attackers. Right here, it's Kylie Minogue, and she's going to go in. So this is a 10v10 attack with the Stone Slammer, with the Bat Spell, and also you've got a pretty standard-looking Lalo attack. So again, Stone Slammer, watch it move in, and yes, it is going to be incredibly strong, at Town Hall 10, it almost makes me feel like what we're seeing happen to Town Hall 10 is what may have happened to Town Hall 9 over the past year or so. 
it is going to get easier. At least as things stand right now, I feel like it is most certainly going to get easier to drop three stars on high-level war bases at Town Hall 10 and check out the wall damage. That is right, a bonus. In addition to all the amazing things you get with this stone slammer, it slices, it dices, it cuts, it crushes, it takes down walls. That is right, a big damage bonus on walls, and obviously it is going to serve as an air attacking unit, but also, as you saw right there, if you can plan it out carefully enough, you can use the Stone Slammer to create a wall entry for your heroes. So again, so many possible uses to this thing. It is 101 uses in one Siege Machine, and you get it for the price of nine, nine well, it's 100,000 gold, but it, you never know, that might change. I personally think it should be 99,999, and then you get the second one free. You pay only additional shipping and handling. All right, so Kylie Minogue doing a great job right here, getting the balloons in, and the Stone Slammer again. Was it the key to this win of this attack? Maybe not, but I can think of instances where this would be ideal, but you have to be careful as to the range of other buildings around it. Now, you'll notice that the wall wrecker did damage the walls, and it also does splash damage to buildings. So it targets defenses, but it will damage anything that is in that area of effect. I will tell you, I'll tell you what, tomorrow, let's get in here tomorrow and show the Stone Slammer against every single defense and the exact range of walls and other structures around defenses that the Stone Slammer targets. So look for that shortly. In the meantime, we're going to move on to Noctare attacking, well, Kylie Minogue on the receiving end this time. Sorry, Kylie. But right here, check out those bat spells taking out quickly half of the air defenses in this base. Well, will it get the other air defense? You can also see it got that Inferno Tower down. The sweeper caused a little bit of a problem there. There you go. So the other air defense down, two air defenses down at Town Hall 10 just from those bat spells. And now mass dragons a little bit of a surprise here but check out that stone slammer as it moves in after those air defenses and the cannon again maybe you drop it a little bit sooner and it gets in there and tanks for the dragons in any case a beautiful free spell right there and suddenly not a single air defense standing only one inferno and a single target using a free spell right there which you could have even gotten better value with the free spell after one of those expos and the Inferno Tower. But either way, you know what's coming right here. That's right. Lots of spells left, even with that bat spell entry. People were saying I made it sound like I was saying bad spell. Just saying maybe that was a Freudian slip. I don't know. I mean, come on. The bat spell is not all bad. It could be good. I think that it's definitely got its uses. I think that people that are writing it off are either not serious war attackers or they just haven't given it a serious look. So before you go off and you go on the comments or you go on Twitter, you go in the forums and you say something is broken, it's OP, it's terrible, it's a waste, I say let's give it a try. Let's actually try it in person and see what we think. Now, I realize that in the case of Clash of Clans, you can't try it before you buy it. There is no money back guarantee. So yeah, you are going to have to count on to a certain extent, taking a look at attacks like this, attacks from other YouTubers that are no doubt showing you some amazing war strategies and other strategies using the Stone Slammer, using the Bat spell, and you never know. I personally think the Bat spell I'm not a fan of, but you never know. The Stone Slammer, absolutely, and I'm guessing I will probably be switching to the Stone Slammer from the Wall Wrecker, but I also imagine we are going to see a huge change in the meta as far as base designs. And I'll get into that in more depth tomorrow as we talk exactly about what happens when a Stone Slammer moves over each individual defense and at what range you need to set walls in order to avoid them getting absolutely obliterated by this brand new Siege Machine. So Noctare from Superstars finishing off the three star right here, eventually getting around to this Expo, but another beautiful attack, somewhat unorthodox with dragons at Town Hall 10. But, like I said, times are a-changing. So get ready, you guys. The update is coming soon, but I can't tell you right now, I have to remain stone-faced. Thank you guys, as always. Stay tuned, stay subscribed, stay positive, be kind to other people, be kind to animals, and I hope to see all of you back here again first thing tomorrow morning for more Full Attacks.
double. Gallon what, double. What, Peter? Why was the sedimentary rock so cheap? Why was the sedimentary... Because it was on shale. What? <laughs>